So can local churches uh, or be involved uh, in creation care? Uh, or is it something that they can just support by, uh, let's say, preaching about it or uh, talking about it, but it's not, let's say, their area of expertise. It's not something that they need to do. I think the local church has a very important role to play, Matthias. Um, like I said over and over again, we don't need another campaign, although sometimes campaigns are useful to trigger a resetting of the mind. Uh, but then the local church really needs to, to step in and ensure that this whole gospel is presented to the whole church. We're looking at our congregation members as ATM machines. We just want them to be tithing and giving in their offerings so that uh, our church can grow in numbers. It's all a numbers game, right? Mm -hmm. But the local church has a huge role to play because if we are to be the salt and light, what are the people around us seeing? They're seeing a self-absorbed community that comes together every Sunday, sings. Uh, we, we gather in this closed sanctuary. And then during the week, we're just as bad or as good as everyone else around. Mm. So what is the difference that we are bringing to this? We talk, we are so big on salvation. Uh, what are we being saved from? What are we being saved for? What does God want us to do with this life that has been, is being transformed? It's been saved for a purpose. And he wants us to join when we pray and say, God, establish the work of our hands. It's an invitation for God to come and partner with us, worthless individuals, communities. Uh, so the local church has such a huge role to play. If we can only uh, rethink what we're preaching and not just look at the latest topic and fad, but actually look at the whole Bible, the whole gospel, and present it. It's, it's a unified story, isn't it? It's all about, it's all, everything leads to Jesus. Mm. And everything leads to Jesus and beyond, and that new creation. So, to say it again, the local church has a huge role to play. Uh, but I can keep saying it, uh, but unless, where are these local church pastors coming from? They're coming from seminaries, from colleges, from Bible schools. So it's the, the Bible colleges, these theological institutions have a huge role to play in shaping the kind of pastors who will go into these churches and who will mm -hmm. be engaging with the regular people in their communities. Mm. I think um, this is very helpful um, for us to think about how and what we are teaching in our uh, seminaries, Bible colleges. Um, now, there are a lot of NGOs and institutions who do similar work, uh, creation care, envi uh, environmental issues, care for people also. Uh, do uh, local churches and Christian NGOs have anything distinct to offer in this space, or are we just just one more of these uh, uh, other NGOs. And I'm not saying that we are better or have it all figured out, but is there something distinctive to our contribution that's possible or probable? Yeah, um, the, the difference, the distinction would be that we know, and I hope we know, is that we know the big picture, the bigger picture. We are not just uh, environmental campaigners who are just so obsessed with the environment, relationships and everything can can go to hell, so to speak. Uh, but I'm just focused on this environmental campaign. No, time and time and again, we've been using this phrase, right? The whole person, the whole community. Um, when, when God was using Moses to shape this new nation, there were so many instructions. It was not just about how to keep your soul and your thoughts pure. It was about how to deal with your neighbors, how to even uh, work your land, how to deal with the people from outside of your community. So uh, we should be aware of this big picture. We should be aware, like we mentioned, that we don't have all the answers. We should be aware that we will not fix everything. 
we should be aware that a new creation awaits when God will just transform everything and the brokenness that we see today will no longer be there. But we should partner with God to get there. We will not fix it. We will not do the transforming. God will if we are willing to be used by him wherever we are right now. Can we truly uh, look at our lives, look back today and say, wow, God's going to say, well done, faithful servant to me? Can we truly say that? Or are we still being selfish? Are we still just wanting to churn up those essays because it's going to get me a degree and then I'm going to look good uh, with that doctor or whatever it is before my name? So we need to understand that there is a distinction and it is that it is the gospel that is the difference. Unfortunately, we are no better in our approaches uh, because we too, as Christian environmentalists, I've seen some of them who are just so obsessed with only that. We're just operating in silos. We cannot see the connections. So yeah, mm -hmm. that's my take. No, that's uh, that, that's really good, um, and I like the dynamic that that you present between the big picture and the specific projects, like. Uh, and they're not uh, disconnected from each other as you presented there. Uh, there's an interplay between them. And uh, that's helpful to, and not just for environmental issues, but even for us as academicians in uh, uh, seminaries and all, to keep the big picture in mind that the paper that I write is not just about getting published and getting a job or getting recognized by my peers or presenting that paper at the conference uh, so that people can say how well I did, but there's a bigger picture involved in all of this. And for pastors in churches, that sermon is not just about delivering a good sermon that day, 